Hey, Retro Nama Squad, here we go. First episode of the Retro Nom 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 Nom. Uh, we're making the Chicken Run Pot Pie. So this is going to be an experience because we've got a four-year-old and a two-year-old that are running around. So let that be a disclaimer that there might be some yelling in the background or during the video. First off with the ingredients. We've got a pie pan. We've got mixed veggies. We've got an egg wash that will come into handy later. We've got butter, pie crusts, uh, just simple pie crust. Uh, we cubed up our potatoes already, salt and pepper, and of course the chicken. Um, I usually cook it in a wok because it makes it nice and crispy. And we also have a boiling pot. Don't forget, you got to cook this stuff. Cook everything before you kind of combine it. Alright, sweet money shot, right? And here's the food shot. Ooh, look at that. Going right through that boiling water. We already got some salt in there too. Kind of help things along a little bit there. Um, I've already cooked up the mixed veggies. We just did a simple uh, fresh pack that you throw in the microwave. Obviously, you can go fresh with it if you'd like. Uh, I did put some butter and salt and pepper. So that'll help. Next, I'm going to go ahead and butter this pan. And then we're going to pre- bake one of the crusts to kind of make sure it gets cooked because we have found over the years that if you don't pre-bake it it just is a soggy mess i find that stick butter works best for buttering it because you got more control and you can kind of spread it more evenly and quickly when uh buttering up your pan all right as you can see we got the stick butter and we butter it all nicely it's all squishified now squishy squishy um, so next we're going to go ahead and take one of our pie crusts, lay it in there, and then we'll throw it in the oven for about five minutes. Alright, with the pie crust being in there, we just kind of mush it down into the pan, make it look good. And just as another tip, because it is a filled pie, you want to fill those holes. So if you've got any, just kind of press it in with each other, and that'll fill in nicely for your filling. Sweet action stop time. Let's see, open up that oven, grab your pie, toss it in so that way it could bake. Like I said before, about five minutes, give or take, just to kind of crisp it up a bit. While that's happening, we're gonna go ahead and start cooking the chicken. And the potatoes are still doing their thing, so we're gonna let them go and do it to it. I forgot to add cream of chicken that's what we use to help fill it um, really any brand will do all right so we're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil to the pan to get that chicken going as for measurements and stuff I just kind of eyeballed it like a count of two and you got kind of enough oil in your pan I do about three or four potatoes uh, cut up and cubed it's two chicken breasts that we're using, uh, one bag of the mixed veggies, and then an egg, and just, you know, like a two count of uh, the uh, milk for your egg wash. And then also uh, cream of chicken, I've got two cans, you know, 10 ounces. It makes a lot. We like ours a little, little messy. All right, so we got the chicken in. You basically want to cook that until you know it's it's done um i don't have any surefire ways of telling how to do it but uh generally you want it to go from the pink to a white and you want the interior to be white uh, i think the internal temperature is supposed to be like 165 or so and as you heard the five minute went off so we'll just pull this guy out and let it sit while we get the rest of it going Oh, I did forget a step. Usually you kind of want to fork the edges so that way it doesn't bubble up so much like that. When cooking those potatoes, got to cook them till they're done too. I already checked and they're not quite there yet. Need a little bit longer. So while everything's cooking, uh, I figured I'd take a minute to kind of explain why we chose the name chicken run 
uh, pot pie. Uh, there's a company by the name of Ardman um, that did the animation for like Wallace and Gromit and stuff. Years ago, they had a movie called uh, Chicken Run. Well, in that movie, it's a bunch of chickens trying to escape a chicken farm that basically the chickens are getting turned into pot pie. So I thought that would be a fun little tie-in for our first little adventure here at the uh, Retro Nom Nom Nom. And um, yeah, we'll just uh, keep on cooking away. <laughs> All right, so if the chicken's getting a little juicy and there's a little bit of excess juice and you want the chicken to be a little more um, crispier, I recommend kind of straining it out real quick while you're doing it so that way you can get a nice crispy skin on the outside of those so that's what we're going to do now yeah you see all that excess juice so we're going to get some of that out super exciting stuff just straining the chicken and then we're going to put it right back into the pan here i know i'm sure a lot of people are watching this watch watching my cooking and going oh my god the mistakes he made but that's part of the fun of cooking is, um, you know, kind of finding what works for you and what works best and, you know, try to keep those little hands away from hot burners and stuff. All right, folks, those potatoes are ready to go. So if you wanted to, you could certainly throw them in the wok and kind of get them crisp up as well, but definitely going to go ahead and strain those for sure. Okay, so we strained the potatoes. I'm going to toss them into the wok for a little bit to kind of help crisp them up as well. And then we're probably going to toss in the mixed veggies. And then we'll uh, we'll grab the uh, cream of chicken and we'll put it all into the pie. So from here, we're going to just combine everything into a big old bowl. Uh, this yields quite a bit. It actually makes enough to make two good size pot pies so that's where we're at now we're just going to start combining things and you go chicken and potato wow nice steamy action there for you don't worry we're keeping it pg here goes some mixed veggies of course in goes the cream of chicken and I mean as always you can use fresher ingredients this is a pretty cheap meal uh, I think you pay the most for the chicken because you know but that even at that isn't very much I think for this whole meal it maybe cost us 15 bucks give or take those are fun sounds. okay so we got that in there and we're just gonna stir it all up Stir, 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 stir. Shout out real quick to uh, Tiff who made my shirt, the Retro Nama Pod um, t-shirt. I don't know. It, there's only two of them made. Pretty cool. Anyway, just a shout out. Switch it. There we go. All right. So there it is. There's our mixture. Everything's stirred up. We got some salt and pepper in there because that's what we do. So we're basically going to take our pie crust and we're going to load it up. So no real hard and fast rule about that. You just take a spoon and you fill it up and uh, until it looks like it's good. Um, and basically what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take the other pie crust, we're gonna set it on top. What's great about working with the dough is that you can basically kind of pinch everything together. So if you had a side that kind of looked a little funky, you could basically take this dough and push it against that dough and they'll kind of combine in a way. So we're gonna do that real quick. Okay, something else I like to do that just adds flavor and makes this go from this kind of pale crust to a nice golden brown is using this egg wash. You basically just take it, you brush it on there like a painting. Okay, so as you can see, we brushed on some of that egg white. We're going to stick it in the oven uh, to finish cooking probably about 10 minutes or so. It's a countdown. It's still just a countdown. Boom. There it is! Time to take it out! In between breaks while things are being cooked is typically being chased by a dinosaur wielding kid. Oh man, this is what you gotta look forward to when you're trying to cook with kids. So we just checked it. Um, it needed a little bit longer. You know, you gotta 
Got to check it if it's still a little doughy. Throw it back in for a few more minutes. Nothing wrong with that. You want to make sure it's cooked. That's kind of the key to the whole thing. Um, yeah, so Chicken Run. Came out in 2000. Pretty short movie. It uh, comes in under an hour and a half. And it's a family-friendly movie. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun jokes. Check it out. It's great. All right, here it is, folks. It may not be pretty, but it's going to be pretty good. Uh, don't mind the little finger hole. That was just me testing to see if it was doughy or not. But that's kind of what you're looking for. Nice golden brown on it all. Um, yeah, so uh, good luck. Hopefully it works. If you have any questions, hit us up on the Retronomapod page. Um, I just want to say thanks for tuning in. Nah, that's not good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for not being a chicken and running. <laughs> and uh, thanks for joining me in making this uh, chicken run pop high on the retro nom 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 nom. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I don't want to be a pie!